Hey folks, it's Woody here over at USMA Blade, and we just had the brand new ZT0223 walk in our door about 20 minutes ago. So this is going to be the fastest from the time a knife walks in the door to us getting a YouTube uh, overview up of it uh, ever. And there's a reason for that, because this has to be the most polarizing knife uh, we have ever seen from ZT. Um, some people love it and some people hate it. And then there are a whole bunch of people out there that just aren't sure what to think of it. So uh, let's start off with just initial impressions. Uh, I've said this before, first off, I love our knife mats, but they're not the best for videos. Um, the knife is a lot more stout in the hand, a lot more, uh, God, it, it, it feels a lot tougher in the hand than I think a lot of people are giving it credit for. It's one of these knives that as soon as you put it in your hand, you're like, ooh, that's, that's substantial. That's, that's very substantial. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, it's a very good looking knife. I love all the, the Earth Brown G10 on it with the black DLC. Uh, the other thing that, that's immediately noticeable in the hand is just how smooth it is. It's an excellent flipper and also, honest to God, probably the smoothest ZT out of the box that we've noticed. Uh, it, it, is, it is very smooth out of the box. So uh, let's give you some specs on it and then we'll tell you what all we're gonna do here. So we got a 20 CV blade steel. Um, so I can show that there. Serial number on this one I think is 400 and something, 404. Um, so 20 CV blade steel, black DLC coated blade. DLC coated tie with a uh, earth tone G10 that completely wraps around the handle, gives it a better grip in the hand, to be honest. Um, eh, I, I don't think that's necessary because this knife really does fit the hand very well, but, uh, but it does give a little extra purchase there on the hand. Um, some good looking jimping here. Uh, we've had some people that had con concerns about these holes down here. Um, I think that's kind of been debunked as, as ZT has shown that it does not affect the durability of the blade at all. Um, and with their warranty, I certainly wouldn't be worried about it. So blade length is three and a half inches uh, overall. Uh, thickness on the, on the uh, spine is 0.156 inches thick. Uh, let's see, five inches closed and overall length is 8.6 inches. Uh, also, we're 4.7 ounces. So for its size, it's, it's a little hefty, but not terrible. Um, got a good clip on it, sits pretty deep in the pocket. And like I said, the action on this sucker is nice. But I think what most people are gonna watch this video for is the comparisons. So we always switch over and give you guys comparisons to other knives. And we've got everything in the shop, but the kitchen sink to throw at this thing. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's get started with that. Um, honestly, I, the first knife I want to start off with is the uh, ZT0640. And I think the reason I wanted to start off with it is because like the 223, the 640 surprised me. Um, when I saw the initial 640, I was like, eh, it doesn't look like it's a very stout knife. It doesn't look like it's, it's solid. Uh, and then I got it in hand. I'm like, damn, that is a very solid knife. Uh, plus, it's pretty darn close in overall length, overall size, uh, blade length, everything else. So um, hopefully that'll give you an idea. Like I said, we're going to go through every ZT we've got in store, every model. Um, so here it is next to the very popular ZT0562. This is the titanium version. Uh, as you can see, you know, honestly, the blade lengths are supposed to be the same on these, but it does look like you get a little bit more cutting edge out of the the two, two, three, um, handle length, you get a little bit more handle length, but you're wider here. Uh, also on the thickness on the back, you're a little bit thicker with that, uh, with that two, two, three, not by much, but you are a little thicker. Um, so ZT 0850, eh, it's pretty much similar in size to the five, six, two. So it gives you an idea there, but for those that don't have a five, six, two, uh, let's look at the 393. This is the GLCF, the most recent production model from ZT on the 393. So just give you, give you a little bit of an idea. 
as well, in case you don't have any of the others. Like I said, we're throwing every ZT model we've got at this thing. Actually, we're not. I don't think I have a 22 over here, which would kind of, yeah. You know what? Hey, Ryan, go grab me a ZT-022, the small one. Um, so here it is next to the 460 tie. Like I said, this is just giving you guys an idea. Uh, shameless plug to our anodizing. Here it is next to a 450 uh, Ghost Bronze Animascus ZT-0450. And you can tell it's during the day. You can hear all that traffic out on Main Street in front of our store. Here it is next to one of the sprint runs, the ZT-0850 uh, CF sprint run. And, oh, sorry about that. And really close in overall size. Really, really close. So, get that out of the way. Uh, here it is next to the ZT-0470. 470 is going to be a little smaller. 470 is definitely more of a gentleman's knife. Uh, let's throw it next to one of the new ZT-0920. Uh, this is the TTS Tiger Stripe uh, uh, with the tan anodized titanium. Uh, this is one of the sprint runs. I think I already said that. So, let's see here. And ZT-0609. Definitely smaller. Let's throw in a 452CF. 452CF is definitely going to give you more in the length category. What I, I like about putting the 452CF in here is it gives you an idea, especially on the width of that handle. Um, this is definitely a, a, a not as wide, but when you're looking at it with the 452, it's definitely thicker. Uh, not by a ton, but it's definitely thicker. So... Get that out of the way, and just for giggles, since it is uh, also a Tim Galen design, we threw in the ZT0022, tiny little sucker. So, um, all right, so that's it on the ZTs. Hopefully, that helped you out somewhat. Um, let's see here, let's throw in all oh, we always try to throw in a bench made, so here's a full-size Benchmade Griptilian, and that out of the way, here's the, let's throw in a Rift, I don't think we've used a Rift in a video before, so there it is with the 950 Rift, and why not, let's throw in a Crooked River, so Crooked River is a little longer, hey, this is actually a pretty good comparison though, um, as far as kind of the handle size, thickness, everything else on that. Um, shameless plug, but we always throw in a Southern Grind Spider Monkey, uh, as we sell a lot of Spider Monkeys, so hopefully that gives you an idea on size. And this happens to be our exclusive with the Red G10. Let's throw in a Freeman Knives 451 button lock flipper. And that, the reason this looks like it's sitting up higher is because it's got that big pocket clip on it. But Freeman's a little bigger. Uh, hadn't been able to do this in a while, but let's throw in a Chris Reeves small and cozy. And let's throw in a Chris Reeves large Sabenza 21, which is probably a little more comparison worthy. All right. And let's hit some, uh, yeah, well, we got some hinders left. So uh, this is the new Eclipse three inch model, liner lock. One of my favorites. That one happens to be mine. So I'll just go ahead and put that back in my pocket. Uh, Hender XM24. Definitely the 24 is quite a bit bigger. Uh, throw in Another shameless plug, since we don't have any XM, well, we only have one XM18, three and a half left, but I uh, thought we'd throw in one since we just got in some copper scales for XM18, three and a half. And 
as you can tell, it still looks like you get a little bit more cutting edge out of the, the 223 and a little bit more handle length, but definitely less width. Um, and then last but not least, we just got in some new Hinder full tracks and thought we'd throw one of those up next to it. So that's it, boys and girls. This is the ZT0223. Um, like I said, it is much more substantial. It's much, it, it, it's a much better knife in hand than, uh, than a lot of people seem to be giving it credit for online. It is very stout, very overbuilt, um, very tough knife, great early lockup on it, solid, no problems with lockup. Um, I, I, we're impressed. I mean, everything ZT puts out is a damn good quality knife. Like I said, the action on it definitely is the biggest surprise to me. I absolutely love the action on it. So these are now in stock and available over at usamadeblade.com. We hope you'll go over there and check one out. And as always, thank you for watching.